I'm Hank Robinson. I head up business development for our computing and computer products group. Um, what we have here is a, a product from Compal that really embodies this uh, uh, device category we've announced here at Computex called SmartBook. So uh, from, from a first visual, you can see it's very thin, very thin, easy to carry, lightweight, and having embedded 3G connectivity, it, it uh, again embodies this uh, user experience with, uh, with SmartBook. Am I, am I dreaming or is it running Android? You, that was my next comment. Yeah. So it is running Android. Right and now. Right like now. a real Android, not just like an animation or something? That is correct. This is yeah. real Android. And if I call up, this would be the Android screen that you may be familiar with with G1 and other uh, handsets. Yeah. And So this is a desktop? Well, it's still the same um, uh, phone OS. So yeah. what, what they've done is they've taken that Android um, phone yeah. OS. OS and what they've done is ported a very nice sexy UI on top of it. So I clicked previously on the traditional um, Google UI, but if you want, they, they've created a very unique email client. Right? So it's very, very, very visual, obviously has information, how many are read and unread, and, and to click. And this is all operational. And how, how did they make this UI? Is that uh, some animation? Is it uh, because it supports Flash, or is it something different? Well, we support Flash, so Flash Lite. So if you, uh, uh, if you get on the web, this will certainly uh, uh, go and show YouTube videos with, with Flash Lite. Uh, here is their... Um, I'll call it where you store photos and, and their unique UI to, to click on that. Um, this would be another screen that we might show uh, location based services. Very, very quick, snappy, get to it. Click on, uh, it can be uh, location aware because we have embedded uh, GPS. So it'll know we're here in Taipei, what are hotel recommendations, what are restaurant recommendations, click, go, yeah. and maybe even get some very quick uh, driving directions. So Android is totally going to be like on laptops. Is that the, the vision at Qualcomm? Well, you know, the exact Android uh, schedule and plan and scaling up into larger form factors sh should come from Google, but uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, demand and uh, uh, a lot of desire from the carrier community, the OEM community, to scale up uh, Android. Is there, is there still a lot of uh, optimizations that they need to do uh, in, in the way that it's implemented? Uh, like uh, when, when we check, for example, the are we on, are on a desktop, and uh, is that that might be more suitable for for like touch screens, no? To have this kind of interface, are they going to change it, or do you know if they're if somebody's working on like? Optimizing it for like a laptop experience. So excellent question. So I think what Compel's done with this device is optimize that with that UI that we just saw. Yeah. So um, again, if you're familiar with the Google handsets, all touch screen. So certainly that could be could be done here. This yeah. is done with the. Um, like going to the start menu. Right. Kind of you could you could go boom and yeah. it would scroll over. Or in this case. Um, it's done, you know, with a, with yeah. a scrolling mouse. So all the applications work, or the, can you already like watch videos in Android, or is that something that you still need to implement with your chips? Because your chip also has like a video acceleration and that's, all these things in 3D. Correct. And that's correct. Yeah. So um, you know, use it. It's a portal. So the engine that will will accelerate the video is a, is on our chip. And, so, and does it work yet in Android, or maybe not yet? It or? does, but I'm, uh, yeah. to be honest, I'm not sure if they've got this up yeah. and running with this particular device. All right. And uh, so when is it going to be uh, released, this, this one? Well, this device is uh, a, a Compal is an ODM, yeah. and I'm sure they would be happy to, to partner and bring the market with a, with a suitable OEM. So there will be brands using this? Yes. And uh, it could happen very soon, or in a few months? or. So yeah. our... Uh, what we've said publicly yeah. is we expect Snapdragon enabled devices in this type of form factor to launch before the end of the year. All right. So we're still here at Snapdragon, Qualcomm's.
demonstration of these new products and what is this one? This one is called P-Book and the manufacturer is Wistron and you can see it's very thin but you can't see but I can feel it's very lightweight and what they've done that's very unique is they've worked around the full sized QWERTY keyboard and taken that wide aspect ratio and created a very unique piece of glass or, or display. So um, it, it, it can run various uh, uh, Linux frameworks and what they show right here is Xandros. So uh, really what I highlight here is the type of form factor that Snapdragon can enable. Again, unique, very lightweight, fit in a backpack or, or a purse. Uh, this screen, is that the mass manufactured yet, or is it going to be like one of the first, or it's going to be, is, this is, might be a high-end product, or? Uh, somewhere in between. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's, I'll, I'll say it's a unique piece of glass, so uh, it, it'll probably be a little bit more expensive than a, than a standard piece, but uh, certainly over time and with volume. Uh, it, it could become more standardized. Nice. And uh, they were also calling this the purse book, but they're not calling it like that anymore, right? Yeah, they shortened it to P-book. P-book, yeah. 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 So then we, we have a broader demographic of... Uh, okay, so you uh, don't uh, have to have a purse to have one. That's correct. Right. Cool. So we're still here at Qualcomm at Computex 2009, and you're showing this really cool-looking uh, packable devices running Snapdragon. Yes, we are. So, who are making these? So this device is by Toshiba. Yeah. This is commercial, or will be commercial shortly. Yeah. In, at Docomo and a few carriers in Europe. We're actually showing a 3D graphics game, taking advantage of our 3D hardware. You can see the shadows and different things as you go through this game. It's a nice high quality game. Is this just a demo? You, you no, can it's actually a game. This is actually a game. Uh -huh. yeah. This is just in demo mode at the time. So definitely you can do a variety of games as well as take advantage of that. And this one? This is another device. This is by Wistron. This is a prototype device with a 4.8 inch display. This is actually running Windows Mobile 6.5. Alright. Windows Mobile 6.5, which is not uh, commercially launched yet. That's correct. That's uh, soon going to be launched. But, yeah, later uh, this fall. Mm -hmm. And this one is not the final design, is it? No, this is a prototype yeah. design. Can we look around it a little bit? Sure. It's pretty thin. It's a nice 4 inch, 4.8 inch display, as we said. And uh, there would be like a, some mouse input here as well as touch? Yeah, this is. I don't. Yeah. It could be touch screen. Yeah. Oh, it is touch screen. Yeah. Well, you actually yeah. figured that out for me. No, uh, he's just trying to try. Sure. And, uh, so this is more the basic home screen here of Windows 6.5. Right. So that's cool. It's 4.8 inch. Uh, do you know if uh, uh, videos work already? I, I mean, they could. I don't know that there's any yeah. loaded on this device just yet. Yeah. It doesn't look like that there is there's any no, loaded. Yeah. Um, uh, none loaded so, at the time. Do you know if it, this one is like to exit the, the demo mode? Is that just to click here or resume the game and then what happens? Uh, so you're, you're not in. So let's exit this game. Let's start okay. a new game. Okay. And it'll go through a series in the beginning where it shows. Yes. And then after that you'll see a line across the bottom with different arrows and then you can actually play the game. Nice. Can we see uh, around a little bit? It's nice and thin. Yeah. Right super, super nice. Crazy nice. Actually. It's a WVGA 4.1 inch display. So this is a Toshiba, is it something like TS41? TG01. TG01, mm -hmm. yeah. So now you can see here, we, if we look at the game, yeah. we're looking at it. You can see here's my, I'm not very good at playing the game, but you can have the controls and drive around, drive around and fight. This is, and this is totally great looking 3D. Really came out yeah. really well. So this is a PSP killer, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely on a yeah. on a four point one inch yeah. screen, it's definitely really good. And you know, this all, device also has Windows Mobile, so you can yeah. use it as a productivity tool and check email and do all those things using three G yeah. connectivity. Can we try to exit and see uh, if they have a few other things to show. The... Yeah. So there's the Windows Mobile folders and. Uh, there, we coming back to the main menu. Yep, there we go. Main menu of the device. And they even have this colorful, colorful 
UI at some point, I remember there were some pictures of that somewhere. So this one, I think, is an older version that we're yeah. showing to show the 3D graphics. Okay. I don't have one that has the... I have okay. the UI, but not on this one specifically. Okay. But yes, Toshiba's done a great job at yeah. the new UI. Is there any official information about price for that one? Or? No, there's not. Not yet. But so, they're cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thanks. sure. So, you are showing all these smart books here at... Uh, and there's like more models, there's not only these two. And you have the Android by Compound, which is pretty awesome. And, and you That's have right, so this is another smart book, example of a smart book device from Compound. It has uh, currently running the um, a Android based operating system, and uh, they have customized the user interface to make, uh, to make it more friendly. And uh, you can see how the. Um, it actually has a touch screen. Uh, See how the screens can scroll through the different applications currently running on the device. But again, I think the smart book uh, theme is you know it's smaller, thin, and lighter. Right? So this will be called a smart book, right? Or so that's the, the the choice of the if you want a brand like that or yeah. This is an example of a smart book in that yeah. it's uh, longer battery life, but longer battery life and 3G connected, so always connected, and yeah. you're always asked for access to the internet. Uh, and we can check over there. You have some other models. Right. So this is another example of a smart book, and this in this case um, is made by uh, our partner Foxconn. Yeah. Foxconn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Right. So the Foxconn model right here, and you also have. Right. These these devices are we have previously shown these before uh, from Inventech. The idea is that it's not a new design. We showed us last year, but the the different applications. For example, this is actually running a 720p video game code, yeah. and this one's running a Office application, uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. So again, these are on Linux environments. And so. Sandbox. Right. And then this is a new form factor from the same company, yeah. uh, Inventech. So again, inconsistent with the smart book theme, right? Smaller, yeah. uh, thinner. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So.